I have finally got my new Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. Since I made my review series of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 4700U with 16GB of RAM, I knew that I wanted one to use as my main laptop for my work settings as well as when I'm traveling. It's just such a good combination of portability, ports and performance that I really wanted to get one, even though the one I got first was a bit broken because it had that webcam that didn't work and I had to send it back. I'm W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration and if you like this kind of content I would be really happy if you wanted to like this video or subscribe to the channel if you like it even more. That helps me out a ton and gives you all the content I'm going to be putting out in the upcoming weeks and months. There will be a lot of stuff about Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, also other laptops and other tech related content. I picked this guy up yesterday. And even yesterday morning, I didn't know what SKU I would be getting in the end. The reason for that is that I had been placing an order two weeks ago for the 4800U version with 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. Yesterday was the last day to pick this laptop up before it would be released at like regular stock again. So I was a bit late in picking it up, like I was coming back to town about one hour before that store would be closing and I was a tiny bit nervous whether I would make it or not. And also I have been hesitating a bit. After I was trying the 4500U in the IdeaPad 5, I really liked the 4500U and the performance as well as how it was running with temperatures. I was not sure if I really needed the 8 cores and 16 threads that the 4800U has even though the performance seems to be outstanding compared to anything else that has been available in any mobile form factor. The day before yesterday I was just browsing one of my favorite retailers in Sweden, where I normally check if they have any good deals, especially for return machines that have an open box and therefore get sold at a way cheaper price. And they just got one in stock in one of the stores in Stockholm where I was at about $750. And this was the 4500U version with 16GB of RAM and 512GB SSD. The IdeaPad 5 that I had before was the 4500U version with 8GB of RAM and 512GB SSD. And I figured that the 8GB was not really enough for some of the use cases that I wanted to have. So a good balance would be 4500U with 16GB of RAM. And especially at the price level of $750 compared to the $1400 where the 4800U would have been, really made me pull the trigger on the 4500U and then cancel the order on the 4800U and let that go to some other really happy buyer that would be getting the laptop in the configuration that is hardest to get by now in Scandinavia as well as in most other parts of the world I believe. Finally, there's also availability on Amazon, at least in the UK, for the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, both in the 4500U version and the 4700U version. Unfortunately, it seems to be really hard to get by the 16GB versions, but at least there's some availability, and I will be updating my links as soon as I find some more availability with the higher RAM specifications. Today let's do a quick unboxing of my new Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 and see if this one is working the way that it should. I'm really excited to have this laptop again to be able to make new content about it and not stopping this review series just because I had to send the other one back. Finally a new Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 is in the house. Let's get started. As you can see here this guy is marked up as an open box. This is called Finvara in Swedish and we can see very clearly here that the box has been opened before. This is not a very big problem to me. Hopefully it's going to be in a decent shape and uh, going to be perfectly fine for me to use. I already know how the box look. It says yoga on the front. Then we have some uh, serial numbers up top. We have uh, some uh, battery information and uh, specifications there in the back side. And we got the regular specifications back here. Here it says it's an AMD Ryzen 5 4500U, it's 16GB uh, of RAM, integrated graphics, 14 inch Full HD panel, 4 cell battery and 512GB SSD. We don't even need a knife to open this guy since it's already an unsealed box. Over in the corner here we've got the power cable. We have the 65 watt power adapter that I really enjoyed using when I tried this one out. 
And this one is actually still sealed with the plastic on, which is quite nice to see. Here we have the main machine and we got the warranty and safety instructions, putting that to the side. Here we have the new Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, it's finally back. Oh, I mean, to me this is not a problem at all, like there's no real visible sign of it being used before. And it was even marked up as like a not first grade open box, like it's a second grade open box, which means that you should be able to see that it has been used before. Look at it very close up, I can honestly not see a trace of that it has been used. Let's set up Windows and then see what I think about it uh, when I try it out quickly. Now we come to the interesting part where I get to set up the face login. Since my other Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 didn't work with the camera, it was hard to set up face login. But let's see with this one. Oh yeah. That was the setup of the face login, super quick and smooth. If you haven't seen any other videos about Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, the port setup is two USB-C ports on the left hand side together with an HDMI port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. And you have two USB-A ports together with a micro SD card reader and the power button on the other side. You've got top firing speakers which sound amazing and you got a pretty good trackpad and keyboard combo here. A bit of a silent, a bit of a glossy touch to the keys and not too much travel. But I do like the keyboard and I look forward to use it a bit more moving forward. It looks to be in a pretty decent shape. I can't see any problems with it on the outside. Uh, let's see how it is when I open it up. Alright, we are set up with the new Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. Uh, I will just download uh, Cinebench R20 and try it out pretty quickly to see how it works out. Uh, I have never done this with the uh, 4500U with 16GB of RAM, only with the 8GB version that I had in the IdeaPad 5. This one doesn't have a lot of battery, so let's just plug in a USB-C charger so that it can get some power. You get a ton of different things that Lenovo Vantage wants you to install and wants you to accept and wants you to buy. But once you've gone through them, you can enter Lenovo Vantage to change your power profile between the battery saving mode, the intelligent cooling mode or the extreme performance mode. I'm setting this up to extreme performance mode to try the Cinebench R20. The fan is picking up quite a bit immediately and let's see if it gets hot to the touch. The 4700U would definitely get hot to the touch when running this kind of stress test. But that CPU is 8 cores and 8 threads. And this is 6 cores and 6 threads. So it's quite a big difference with the 2 cores less in this CPU configuration. And this one runs at 2460 points without getting hot at all anywhere around the chassis here. That's the kind of performance I got from the 4500U in the IdeaPad 5 as well. Even a tiny bit better I think than the IdeaPad 5. So I'm very happy to see that this screen seems to be just fine. The performance seems to be just fine. And I'm gonna quickly try the speakers as well to see that they work the way I want them to. I got this laptop mainly because I'm trying out a few different budget options and I wanted to see how cheap can you get when you buy?
Marcus, my teeth are burning. Oh, just because I always wear a smile, like the dress up in the ladies' back. Yep, that's just the way I want it to sound. Perfect speakers, really good screen with no backlight bleed, what I can see. The camera is working and the CPU is giving the performance that you want from the 4500U APU combo. I will be trying this laptop out a bit more and of course, like I will make a lot of videos about it. This will be my main driver for the next time to come. One of the prime ways I will be using this laptop is with this new setup with an external 15 inch screen that works really well as a portable travel setup. I will have dual monitors with pretty decent quality in both the two ones. And this together weighs in at almost exactly two kilograms. Also then I will be using it with my Logitech MX Master 2S that I will be putting out a one plus year review of quite soon on the channel. And of course there will be content soon covering why I'm using this setup and what products is included in the setup. That's it for today's video. Finally, there's a Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 in my home and I will be making new videos about it. If there's anything special you want me to try out with the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 or with the 4500U CPU from AMD, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions, let me know that as well. And then I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.